and that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, Lord, as the apple of thy eye, and the shelter of thy wings, for thou shalt meet in the feast, and God, they which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, with their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out to have encircled me, they set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken, taken me as might a lion ready for the prey, as might a lion's whelp that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men. Thy sword for the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy feet do thou separate them from the earth and the light. Yea, with thy hidden treasure hath their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their bags. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, in thee have I trusted. May never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Be me in thy truth and teach me, thou art God my Savior. For in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorance is remembered not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. O the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimony. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. With the man that fears the Lord, who set him a law, set him a law in the way which he has chosen, so shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, that it, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he he, it is, O draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out for my necessity. Behold my loneliness and my toil and forgive all my sins. Look upon me, from, look upon mine enemies for they are multiplied. And with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame for I have broken thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his affliction. Have mercy me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassion. Let all my transgression wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee. But thou mightest be justified in thy words. And prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot us all my iniquities. Creating me a clean heart of God and a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Of thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach to stretches thy ways and then God be shot him back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth and declare thy prayer. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice at a given into the hope and offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice in the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. O Lord, in their good pleasure and design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built in. Then shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope and offerings. Then shall the labor looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou dost descend to death, O life immortal, thou dost lay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. 
and wind from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ your God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O virgin, pale tokens full of grace. From thee shone the Son of Righteousness, Christ your God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, thou didst accept in thine arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. Both now and ever into ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that has blossomed forth for us the food of life. Thee do we supplicate, intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, our, shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hell became afraid, O Almighty Savior, seeing the miracle of thy resurrection from the tomb. The dead arose, creation with Adam beheld this, and rejoiced with thee. And the world, O my Savior, praises thee forever. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou at all times, at every hour in heaven and on earth, art worship and glorify to Christ God, with long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate. Who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners. Call us all to salvation of the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life through thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chase our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us apart with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thus art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, without corruption gave its birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and our Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save me then, and worthy servant, but bless thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come to this worship, God our King. O come to this worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come to this worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O God, in thy name save me, in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought out for my soul. I have not said God, but the protector of my soul, he will bring evils upon mine enemies. I will only destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and not mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. 
If you, O oh God, unto my prayer and stay not my supplication, attend unto me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation when I was troubled at the voice of the enemy and the oppression of the sinner. The girls, they have turned iniquity upon me and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me and darkness has covered me. And I said, it will give me wings like a dove and I will fly and be at rest. Though I have fled afar off and dwelt in the wilderness, I waited for God that saved me from faint heartedness and from tempest. Grant them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues. I've seen in the green gang saying in the city, Day and night they go round about her upon her walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. In the usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if my enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it. If he that hated me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou dwells with men of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend. Thou art together with me to sweeten my repast. In the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mind. The death come upon such ones, and they will go down alive into Hades. The wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me and the God have I cried, and the Lord hearken to me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh to me, for they among me who are with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the age. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenants, and they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. The words were smooth, smoother than oil, and yet they are dark. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. Thou, O God, shalt bring those men down to the pit of destruction. Letting in deceitful men to not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. That he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter, and from every troubling word with his soldiers wholly overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With a shield will this truth encompass thee, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fire by day, nor the thing that walks in darkness, nor the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thy life shalt thou behold, and thou see, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. O evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh into thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge of thee, to keep thee in all thy way. On their hands shall they bear thee up a sting. Upon the asp and the basket shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he set his hope in me, and I will deliver him. I will shalt him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am a victim. With him in affliction, I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou dost ascend to death, O life immortal, thou dost lay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead, and when from the depths thou dost raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ your God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O virgin, tale tokos full of grace. From thee shone the Son of Righteousness, Christ your God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous elder, God has accepted in thy arms the Redeemer of our souls, who grants us the resurrection. With now and ever into ages of ages, amen. That we have no bonus on account of our many sins, thou beseeching that was born of thee, O virgin Theotokos, the supplication of a mother, availeth much to win the Master's favor, sustain not the prayers of sinners, or all pure one. For merciful and mighty to save is he, who deigned also to suffer for our sake. For thy compassions, for we are become exceedingly poor. 
Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By thy nativity, thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb and didst bless Simeon's hands, O Christ God. Now thou hast come and saved us through love. Grant peace to Orthodox Christians, only lover of man. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, who to long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteous, send us mercy on sinners, who follows all to salvation, promise good of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at the hour and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make change our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with our holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For bless thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious, and beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very day of Thokos be to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, at last. Father, Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. <laughs> o God, the Lord of hosts, and maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion and thy mercy which grants it comprehension, listen down thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross tear us into the handwriting of our sin. And thereby does triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. But thou thyself, O Master, lover of mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers, thanksgiving, and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. They hold down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee. So that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light, as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise, thanksgiving unto thee, <coughs> and resident Father, with thy only begotten Son, and thine all holy, good life green spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. 
For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, its president, for all its civil authorities and those serving in its armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city of San Antonio, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. 
For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Into the Son, to the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord, O oh, my soul, I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation, when his breath departs. He returns to his earth, on that very day his plans perish. The Lord will reign forever, I God, O Zion, to all generations. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Holy be God, and Son, and immortal works of God, who for our salvation did will to be in incarnate. Of the holy Theotokos and ever in Mary, who without change it's become man and was crucified. O Christ our God, trampling down death by death. Who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Don't remember us, O oh Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this 
is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall be
listen to death or life and war. I'll display how with the splendor of the Godhead. And when from the depths of his race of death, all the powers of heaven cry out. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory be to thee. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotoko, full of grace. From me shall the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God. To thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Oh. Uh-huh. 
attend peace be unto all and to thy spirit wisdom the procumenon in the second tone the Lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation The Lord has chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. And in the third tone, my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my strength hath rejoiced in God, my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord, and, and my spirit rejoices in God, my The reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to Timothy. Let us attend. My son Timothy, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Albeit for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering. For a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 
Peace be to thee that readest. And to thy spirit, the Alleluia in the seventh tone. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. <coughs> Save the King, O Lord, and hear us on the day we call. And in the eighth tone, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Wisdom, stand upright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus went into the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, Not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your faith, be it unto you even as you will. And her daughter was made whole. From that very hour. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We have today in the Gospel reading, the Canaanite woman who came to Christ begging for the salvation from demonic possession of her daughter. She was possessed. And this is a, a particular passage out of the gospel 
that truly we ought to let ourselves be a little shocked at Christ's Those of us, we know, many of us know the story having heard it during the yearly cycle, and having read it. First, he ignores her. She comes begging for her daughter's life, and he answers her not one word. She continues calling him this non-Israel, this Gentile, this unclean person to the Jews living outside of the law of God, calls him by his correct title. Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, recognizing that he's come to be the Jewish Messiah. And he says, I've only come to the people of Israel. Finally, she continues, and it says she worships him, saying, Lord, help me. He looks and says, it's not right for the master to give the children's bread to the dogs. The Israelites, of course, being in that statement, children of God. He's called this desperate woman, not only a dog, but like a little yipping house puppy, the least of them. And she says, yes, Lord. You're right. And yet even the dogs can content themselves with the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And he turns to her and says, Oh, woman, great is your faith. Be it unto you exactly as you have willed. And her daughter was healed. Why is this happening? Was our Lord, we can rule this out from the beginning because we know the ending, but these are statements that we look at them nowadays, and the first one was quite racist. I've only come to this race of people. Was it sadistic? Was he just leading her on, making her grovel and beg and scrape? and be sorry enough, and say enough bad things about herself, so that finally he would turn and say, okay, you've suffered enough. Go ahead. No. Because what's happening here is we have an image in this woman of what we ought to have of God in our own hearts. Her understanding of who Christ is must be our vision of who Christ really is at the end of it all. Right now and at the end, it was this vision, this knowledge of who he really is that kept her going, that kept her asking because she knew that this one was a healer. He was good and he loves mankind. And so she continued to ask, continued to implore on behalf because she knew she would not allow thoughts of pride or despair to, to keep her from continuing in her prayer. She had a vision and an understanding of who he was. That was true. So what is your vision of God? Who is he when you pray to him? What do you imagine? What, do you, what have you even been told in your life that God is like when you pray to him? 
because we can encounter many of the things that this woman encountered. We can pray, and sometimes the first thing we encounter is silence. There's no answer. He answered her not a word. And that can lead, can lead, to doubt, to disbelief even. Or maybe seeing him as indifferent. He's not even bothering me. He doesn't really care. My problems are too little. They're too insignificant. I won't even bother. He's probably not even listening. These are the thoughts. The temptations that creep in. But this woman would have none of it. She continued forward. She continued to pray even in the face of silence. We can also be reminded of our own sinful state. It's important to understand that when Christ calls her a dog, as opposed to the children of Israel who were at the master's table. He was, in fact, telling her, according to the law of God, you are in sin. You're living outside of the covenant of God. You do need to repent. You do need to correct your life from what you've been doing. And oftentimes we can encounter that. Now that's necessary. But oftentimes do we despair? If this woman had thought and heard the words of Christ, you know, it's not good to give the bread of the children to the little dogs yipping around the table. She may have thought, Well, he's only coming, he only cares about the Israelites, and I'm not an Israelite, so I guess I'll go back home. And we can think of this, too. Well, I'm not a monastic elder living on Mount Athos. I haven't, you know, seen the uncreated light of God. I haven't prayed the Jesus prayer 300 times a day, I still bring all the silly, stupid things that I always bring to confession. I'm still struggling with them now. I am still, I must be a dog in his eyes. That must be how he really sees me. So I may just as well let it go. But these are tests. And Christ does allow these things to come into our lives. And just like our St. Anthony, there can be times when we pray all through the night, and he's there, but he tells us, Dawn, I wanted you to keep praying. Keep praying. Don't stop. Because when she acknowledges not only her dogness, her sin, but also the love of the master. She says, you're not fooling me. You weren't only sent to the people of Israel. You love all of mankind. And your goodness is for the Israelites as well as for the Canaanites. I know that I am outside of the covenant, but you are a God who is merciful. And I know you. And I trust you. And it's at that point that he turns and says, great is your faith. Great is your trust. Because we need to hear and acknowledge our own state as a sinner while also understanding that our greatness of our sin does not extinguish the determination of the love of God to love us, to be present with us, 
to never abandon us. And we have to have this vision within us that in spite of the silence I may pass through, in spite of the even the insults that God allows to pass my way, in spite of the difficulties and everything that's unexpected, he is good and loves mankind. St. Paul in the epistle that we heard read just a moment ago, he said, this is a statement worthy of full acceptance. In other words, you can hang your hat on this one. Christ has come into the world to save sinners of whom I am first. That's what we say right before we take communion every time. And he knew he had been the one to go around and round up Christians and throw them to be tortured and killed. If anyone, even a child of Israel, were to realize that perhaps he would be rejected by God's Messiah, that would be the one. And yet, he says, Christ came to save sinners of whom I am first. Our opposition we encounter, our discouragement, our frustration, our impatience. What are we called to do? What this woman did. We remember that God's love for us, even as he sees you, even as he sees you right now. That love will change you. That love must bring us to repentance. But that love is always, always, always there. It's there. So that you can, as he says in the gospel, ask and you will receive. It actually says the verb is continual. Ask. And keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking, and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. And eventually, according to God's timing, you may have to pray as this woman prayed over and over and over. But in God's time, in God's way, you will be freed from the demons that torment you as well. Because if we remain with him, he will always remain with us. For he is good and loves mankind. To our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, be all glory, honor, and worship together with his Father who has no beginning, and the all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. <coughs> O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, for priests, deacons, and all of the clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this country, its president, for all its civil authorities, and for those serving in its Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Can we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church? We pray especially for the newly departed Proto Presbyter Daniel, for the Archpriest Ernesto, for the Proto Deacon John, and the Servant of God Juanita, for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. <coughs> Again, we pray life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the Archpriest Antonio, the Matushka Elizabeth, Bob, Chris, Kayla, Phyllis, Steve, Svetlana, Jeanette, Clayton, Mary, Michael, Jason, Michael, Vera, Veronica, Mia, Michael, Jose, Raul, Stephanie, Zachary, Maria, Galina, for the suffering Christians in the Middle East, all those affected and suffering from COVID-19, for the servants of God, the reader Benjamin, Mary, Alexia, Danielle, Irene, and Rita, for the brethren of this holy temple, those whom they have in mind, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present. Who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in thine ineffable goodness, look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weakness, thou hearest our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who lovest mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Pray to the Lord, ye Catholic humans. Let us the faithful pray for the Catholic humans, that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church, Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. O Lord our God, who dwellest on high and regardest things below, who has sent forth as the salvation of the race of men, thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Look down upon thy servants, the catechumens, Larry, Michael, Emily, and Eduardo, who have bowed their necks before thee, and make them worthy in due time of the laver of regeneration, the remission of sins, and the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them with thy chosen flock, that with us they also may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. All catechumens depart, depart, catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let us remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord.
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, we thank thee, O Lord God of hosts, who has accounted us worthy to stand even now before thy holy altar, and to fall down before thy compassions for our sins, and for the errors of the people. Receive our supplication, O God, make us worthy to offer unto thee prayers and supplications and bloodless sacrifices for all thy people, and enable us whom thou hast placed in this thy service, by the power of thy Holy Spirit, blamelessly and without offense in the pure witness of our conscience, to call upon thee at all times and in every place, that hearing us thou mayest be merciful to us in the multitude of thy great goodness. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, again and oftentimes we fall down before thee and beseech thee, who art good and lovest mankind, that looking down upon our petition thou wouldst cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant us to stand blameless and without condemnation before thy holy altar. Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them always to worship thee blamelessly with fear and love, and without condemnation to partake of thy holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom, that guarded always by thy might, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. No one who is bound to desire the pleasures of flesh is worthy of approach to God, nor to serve you, King of glory, but to minister to you as great and fearful, even to the heavenly power. Nevertheless, through unspeakable and boundless love for mankind, he became man, you without change or alteration, and became our high priest. And as master of all, committed to us the ministry of this and third one's love, the sacrifice. You alone, O Lord, the God, ruler of those in heaven and on earth who are born of the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, King of Israel, who alone are holy and rest in the sanctuary. Therefore, I entreat you, the most good and ready to look and look down on me, the simple and profitable servant. Cleanse my soul and my heart from evil conscience, and let the power of your Holy Spirit enable me. I'm clothed with the grace of the priesthood to stand before this your holy table, to the sacred mystery of your holy and most your body and precious blood. For I draw near to you and bowing my neck, I implore you to not turn your face away from me, nor cast me out from among your children. Make me a simple and worthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to you. For you yourself are he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed of Christ your God. And unto you to be sent employed together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy good and mighty and spirit. Now and ever,
His Beatitude, Deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, and His Eminence, Archbishop Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas in the South, the Lord God remember in His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the entire Episcopate of the Orthodox Church, for the Holy Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, those serving in monastic orders, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the president of this country, all those in civil authorities, those serving in its armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the founders and benefactors of this holy church, for those who labor and those who sing, for those who teach and those who practice hospitality, Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God in need of God's mercy, those suffering in the aftermath of violence, terrorism, war, natural calamity, and pandemic, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God departed this life in the hope of the resurrection, those who have perished in the past, we pray especially. For the new departed servants of God, the proto presbyter Daniel, for the proto deacon John, for the archpriest Ernestine, for the servant of God Juanita, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever. And unto ages of ages. Noble Joseph, I think you lost your body from the tree wrapped in fine linen, anointed with spices, and placed in a new tomb. The tomb of the body and hated of the soul, and paradise of the thief. On the throne of the Father and the Spirit, where you are boundless, Christ filling all things, yourself uncircumscribed. As life giving more proof of the paradise and brighter than any royal chamber, your tomb, O Christ, has become the fountain. Of our resurrection, the noble Joseph, having taken down your most true body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen, anointed it with spices, and placed it in the new tomb. Do so, Lord, in your good will. Under Zion, with the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then we will be the sacrifice of righteousness, and whole burnt offering. Then will they lay bowls upon your altar. Let 
let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. <laughs> For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. O Lord God Almighty, who alone art holy, who accept us the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon thee with their whole heart, Accept also the prayer of us sinners and bear it to thy holy altar, enabling us to offer unto thee gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of the people, and make us worthy to find grace in thy sight, that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto thee, and that the good spirit of thy grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here offered, and upon all thy people. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors. Wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, God the Father, mighty Maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible. Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of thy true God, of true God, begotten, not made. Of one essence with the Father, whom all things were 
Again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and spoke by the prophet. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sin. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. <coughs> <coughs> The grace of our Lord and you know, the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is me. And right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and only it is meet and right to him, thee to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks to thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou, and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit, thou it was who brought us from non existence into being. And when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, didst not cease to do all things until thou hadst brought us up to heaven. And hadst endowed us thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee, and to thine only begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know, and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to accept at our hands, though there stand by thee thousands of archangels, cherubim and the seraphim, six winged, many eyed who soar aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymns, shouting, proclaiming, and saying. <coughs> Adore. Oh, Son, I am the highest. Let's 
Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers, O Master, who lovest mankind, we also cry loud and say, Holy art thou and all holy, thou and then only begotten Son of thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and all holy, and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved the world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, who when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, most pure and blameless hand. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. <laughs> Remembering the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own on behalf of all and for all. And we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship and ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. That which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Making the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come quickly, Lord Jesus, that they may be to those who partake for vigilance of souls, for the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, and not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary. The Holy Prophet, Brother and Baptist John, the Holy Glorious and a lot of apostles, the Saint Anthony, Remember all those who have fallen asleep in the the especially the Archpriest Dimitri, and the Priest John, who have served at this altar, and grant them rest, O God, with the light of thy countenance shines on them. Again, we entreat to remember, O Lord, all you, Dr. Piscop, and rightly divine the word of thy truth, all the presbyters of the Academy of Christ, and every order of the clergy. 
Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for the whole world, for the holy Catholic and apostolic church, for those who live in Catholic, in holiness and blind, for all civil authority. Grant them, O Lord, peaceful governance, that we in this tranquility, may they call them peaceful life, in all godliness and Among the first to remember, O Lord, is Beatitude, our Metropolitan Seacon, and His Eminence, Archbishop Alexander. Grant them for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. And all mankind. Remember, O Lord, this city of San Antonio in which we dwell, every city and countryside, and those who in faith dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, travelers by land, by sea, and by air the sick and the suffering, captives and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in thy holy churches, those who remember the poor, and upon us all send down thy mercies. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. With Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens, as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee we commend our whole life and our hope, O Master, who lovest mankind. And we ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Make us worthy to partake of the heavenly and dread mysteries of this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience for remission of sins, for forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say,
of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Your Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto the O King Invisible, who by thy measureless power didst make all things. And in the greatness of thy mercy to spring all things from non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee. For they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but unto thee, the fearful God. Do thou thyself, O Master, make smooth what lies before us all unto good, according to the individual need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O thou, who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, all thine only begotten, some of whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, out of thy holy dwelling place, and the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sittest on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and by thy mighty hand deign to impart unto us thy most pure body and precious blood. And through us to all the people. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Let us attend the holy things for the holy. I believe, O oh Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thine own most pure body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen.
Joseph and Hail Mary, the sweet of the body, but of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For the remission of our sins, and the service of God, Richard, the sweet of the body, for the remission of his sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, holy God, receives the holy body, and the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For the remission of our sins, and life everlasting. Amen. The blessed of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon the servant of God's heart, always now and ever. Servant of God, Mary Magdalene receives the holy body and precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon the servant of God, the Cody, always, now, and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon the servant of God, Yelena, and always, now, and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord, God, Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the the blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, remain upon the servant of God's area, and the Lord, 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 Servant of God Dimitri receives the all holy body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior. Jesus Christ, for the remission of his sins and unto life everlasting. Lo, this has touched your lips and will take away all your iniquities and will cleanse you of all your sins. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon us. Heavenly God, you have given us wisdom and ever to ages of ages. Amen. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon us. Heavenly God, you have given us wisdom and ever to ages of ages. Amen. The blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain upon us. Shine, shine unto Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord. Uh, now be glad, O Zion, be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection of his Son. Christ, great most holy Pascal, who is the word and power of God, grant that we may more perfectly partake of the never-ending day of thy kingdom. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those here remembered by thy precious blood through the prayers of all thy saints. And we hold the resurrection and to of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We carry thy cross, Christ, and we praise and glorify thy holy resurrection. For thou art our God, and we know no other than thee. We call on the name of all you faithful. Let us venerate Christ's holy who could behold through the cross joy and summon to all the world? Let us ever bless the Lord, raising his resurrection, for by enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Shine, 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 O Christ, great and most holy pastor, O wisdom, word, and power of God, grant that we may more perfectly partake of thee in the never-ending day of thy peace.
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life giving in dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. O Lord. We thank thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls. That thou hast made us worthy this day of thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, strengthen us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps. Through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification and unto thee do we send up glory. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever. And unto ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blessest those who bless thee and sanctifiest those who trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in return by the divine power. And forsake us not to put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ our God, our law and the prophets, fulfilled all the dispensations of the Father, fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Blessed be the name of the Lord, is forth and forevermore. I I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will be continually in my mouth. In the Lord, Lord my soul shall make her boast. Let them be here and be glad. Magnify the Lord with thee. And let us exalt his name together. I, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from afflictions. They drew near to him ever in light, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor woman cried to the Lord again. May he save me from all this tribulation. The angel of the Lord will make a promise in and shall deliver them. They still see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who walked Hear the Lord, all ye who saints, for there is no back for them that fear him. The rich have become poor and hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, thou hast not rejected me a sinner, who has made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune in thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us us these awesome and life-creating mysteries, for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies. <coughs> Let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiest, may I always remember thy grace. Live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art a true desire and ineffable joy with those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise. Forever, amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, without a heart of fire consuming the unworthy. Consume me not, O my creator, but stand enter to my members, my veins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my knees and body. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit, and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion flee from me, as from a fire as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the body, the host, thy former, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification, light of our souls, a good one. And to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever. 
and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Bless. May he who deigned to be carried in the arms of righteous Simeon and who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, all of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we celebrate, of St. Anthony the Great, the heavenly patron of this holy temple, of St. Parthenius, whose memory we keep in the church this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Good morning. You all. Um, we'll have uh, just you know a few announcements and sing many years. Uh, following this, uh, of course, we'll have the blessing of vehicles. Uh, so with the holy water that was blessed at Theophany. Uh, so we'll do that in a moment. Go outside and open up our cars. Uh, this week we have um, kind of a very normal uh, list of services. We'll have daily vespers, of course, at Wednesday at 7 p.m., uh, followed by uh, the continuation of our classes on prayer uh, using the uh, book An Inner Step Towards God by Father Alexander Men. Uh, so that will be uh, this Wednesday. Uh, then, of course, there'll be this weekend, as always, Great Vespers, Saturday at 6 p.m., and Divine Liturgy next Sunday uh, at 10. Uh, we will also uh, be on that day. Uh, it is Zacchaeus Sunday. So this is the uh, uh, next Sunday will be the beginning of, you know, for, you know, uh, Christians in the Russian, the Slavic traditions, uh, this Zacchaeus Sunday should be the first red, you know, sort of not red flag, that's the wrong thing. It's uh, a, uh, a, you know, a sort of harbinger. There's, there's something coming. That Great Lent is just around the corner. This is uh, the first Sunday where we will be reading uh, the story of Zacchaeus. But we're also beginning those that series of Sundays uh, where we prepare ourselves uh, for Great Lent. So that will be next Sunday, God willing. Uh, this week, we have uh, the reader, Benjamin Tolleson, with a names day today. No? no. That's, we'll have to correct that one. I thought it a bit odd myself. So, uh, okay. Uh, wanted to make sure on that one. Uh, so we won't sing to you. No. Uh, Mary... <laughs> Mary Hoffman, uh, Alexia McGee, Daniel, uh, Danielle Mason, Irene Meadows, uh, all have birthdays, as does Rita Callas. Uh, are there any other birthdays, names, days, anniversaries this coming week that we can add to many years? All right, so we will go ahead and sing many years. And then uh, following that, We'll go outside and open up the doors, uh, even the, the hoods and the trunks of our vehicles. And then we'll come out uh, singing the Traparian and uh, go around and bless everyone's vehicles. Yes, Helen. Thank you. Yes, I knew I was forgetting something. We do have parish council meeting this Thursday. That will be uh, virtual. Um, anyone who would be interested in observing, uh, please let me know. I can get you the link to that. Thank you, Helen, very much. Uh, and also, by the way, uh, through Helen's generosity and stewardship, uh, you see outside a lovely trimmed uh, lawn and 
some of the trees. Uh, so she approached me last Sunday and asked if she would be able to do that. And uh, so it looks lovely. Uh, he did a wonderful job. Thank you very much for that. So, all right. A prosperous and peaceful life, health, salvation, and furtherance in all good things. Do thou grant, O Lord, unto thy servants, Mary, Alexia, Danielle, Irene, and Rita, on the occasion of their birthdays, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. God grant to many years. God grant to many years. God grant to many years. So do please go ahead and take a few moments to uh, go and open outside your car doors and God willing here in just a few moments uh, we'll be out to sing and to bless uh, the vehicles. Can you get the lights? Thank you. 